Back everybody, this is Dave the Gamer. Today, going over part six of my mob grinding series. This time, we're looking at the mobs in Silithus, seeing what type of money we can make off uh, the sandworm meat. So, this meat is going to be used for a great uh, food buff. And I tested this over two hours just to see exactly how much gold we could actually make. But let's jump into this. Also, and I put timestamps for this video and I went back through all of my videos. So there's now timestamps if you ever want to jump ahead. So like I said, um, the, the worm meat here, the sandworm meat, it's used to make smoked dessert dumplings. 20 strength food buff, which is excellent for a lot of your melee uh, people in general. And there's two mobs that drop them in Silithus. So there's the Dredge Striker and then there's the Dredge Crusher. See, this guy actually hates me. I just killed him and got the, the Black Lotus. So well, I've been here for two hours and I got two Black Lotus. So yeah, that's super lucky, uh, but I'm constantly checking the spawns while I'm here, which actually makes me here a lot longer. Uh, but with the Dredge Strikers, I never pull them unless I can always pull more than one. So see how that thing just charged me? So the strikers do a charge and the crushers will actually, if they're in melee range, they stun you. So I found the strikers to be a lot easier um, overall because once they charge you like that, they don't do it again when they're close range. If you do get a little bit of distance on them, they will charge again. The crushers can just keep stunning you over and over. Um, so these, you're not gonna be able to AOE them down. I was gonna bring my mage here and test it out, but the crushers, I wanna show you what they look like. All right, as you see, the crushers are actually a lot bigger overall looking. They both have a 33, 32% chance of dropping um, the sandworm meat, which on my server is going for about 90 silver. I could definitely see that going up a little bit. Um, I could see that going up to about a gold and a half. So I'm going to give you what it is right now, uh, just so you can see. So these, uh, guys here, see the Sam, um, see it's a, well, it's a gold, it's a gold on my server is the, the market value. And that looks to be the same, uh, across the region itself. So the crushers are more located down this area and the strikers are, are more up here. There's a, they're massive, like they're all up here. The problem is, is if you go through this area, there's a bunch of invisible elites that mess with you. So the whole two hours I did this, I stayed over here and, and then when I like, I would start here, make my lap. And when I came back around while I'm waiting on respawn times, I would check this black lotus spot, this black lotus spot. Like I said, I got one here, logged off, did some stuff, came back, did another hour, got the, the next one here, and that's where I killed that guy at. So I got super lucky getting two of them within that two hour span. Um, but the I found these are actually pretty decent gold making. Like I said, right now they're only a gold a piece, so if they do go up, uh, this potential gold making could be a lot more. I do not see a lot of people here. Uh, really, in two hours, I did not see a single other person trying to kill these. Anybody that was here was killing either the scorpions for the venom sack or the spiders for the iron web spider silk. Um, if you are a mage, I think it would be beneficial to come down here and kill the bigger guys because then you could just pull everything. Like I said, you're going to get the spider silk. You're going to get the venom sack. So I would pull this whole area along with these guys and you could actually even see a much higher gold potential. All right, so back at town, looks like we're starting at 60 gold, pretty much even. We're gonna sell everything. It's gonna automatically vendor the grays and repair. So let's see where we go. So starting at 60. Let's sell this pattern. All right, so 60, so it looks like I made like, you know, about three and a half gold, nothing crazy. 
Um, I got 89 of the sandworm meat during that two hours. I'm not going to count the one I just picked up during while I was showing you what the mobs do theirself. So that's 89 gold. So 89 gold plus the 3.3 that I just got there. I'm going to factor the mithril lockbox at one gold, which potentially could be more. Uh, you got three and a half gold off that green. Another three and a half, one and a half, so five and 1.5 and if you factor the black lotus this is like 200 gold an hour no, i'm kidding uh but yes yeah, so it came to 103 gold divided by the two hours 51.5 gold an hour so not a bad method at all like i said these are only one point or one gold a piece right now so if they would go up to one and a half or two gold uh this would be 60 70 gold i think as a mage if you were to aoe and do the the crushers instead of the strikers that you could actually get up to probably 70 80 gold because uh, the iron web silks are selling for about two gold uh, the venom sacks are at least 50 silver so they'll do a nice big aoe pull you could definitely do it the reason you can't do it with the strikers is they have the charge ability and that charge ability is just going to mess up the whole aoe process itself but as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, think about subscribing, hitting the bell notification so you get notified as soon as I upload. Until then, guys, game on.